Ohio is now set to change its mask orders. The CDC guidelines announced yesterday say those who have been vaccinated do not need to wear masks in most instances. The Ohio mask mandate was supposed to be in place until June 2nd, but now that has changed. For more on what all this means, let's turn to our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins. Monica, good evening. Good evening, Russ. Yeah, the governor said Ohio's mask mandate will now mirror the CDC guidance. The health order will spell out all the specific details. We're still waiting to see it. I have it open on my web on my website right now, trying to find out when they're going to release it, hopefully later today, maybe tomorrow. So the revised health order will follow the CDC guidelines regarding masks and social distancing. So if you are vaccinated, you will not be required to wear a mask or social distance. Orders will not change for nursing homes or healthcare settings. Now, in terms of capacity events, that's going to be spelled out in the order. But as of right now, the current orders are still in effect until June 2nd. Orders regarding restaurants and table distancing will also be addressed in that order. And businesses, remember, they can still require masks if they so choose, meaning you could see the old no shoes, no, no shirt, no mask, no service signs popping up. But as we've seen in the past, there's no real enforcement from the state standpoint. Businesses will likely have to enforce those mandates themselves. Here's what a doctor has to say about all this. Since there's no way to really tell who's vaccinated and who's not vaccinated, people are not going to be wearing masks, uh, even if they're unvaccinated. There are some people who are going to choose to do that anyway. So to limit some people to wearing masks if they feel like it and others not, I think it was time to, to probably uh, stop putting those restrictions on board. Now, that doesn't mean that people shouldn't still use common sense. Yeah, she's exactly right. Keep in mind, the exceptions the CDC included in its guidance are for nursing homes, healthcare settings, and public transportation. So all travelers are required to wear a mask on all planes, buses, trains, and any form of public transportation traveling into, within, or out of the United States and in U.S. transportation hubs, meaning airports, train stations, and the like. And by the way, the governor also signed a bill today that 12-year-olds do not any longer need a prescription to get a COVID vaccine at a pharmacy. They, like everybody else, 12 and up, can get their COVID vaccine at any one of the providers, Russ. A very busy week for these changes. All right, Monica, thanks a lot.